She likes to get done with the cut early and, uh, and have some time to rest. And I guess the closer we get to the, the end of the weight cut, the more energized you tend to feel. Not her first rodeo, and uh, you know she's she's been through this weight cut before. She's done it many times, and she's a machine, you know. And, and oftentimes I think of her as a machine. And, you know, she doesn't show too much emotion. She doesn't show very much weakness at all. And she says a lot of the times that she doesn't feel pressure and she doesn't feel stress, and that her mind is at peace. Yeah, she's looking great. So it's weight cut night, uh, the night before the weigh-ins. Um, they're always exciting, especially with Mike. He likes to turn up that intensity. And uh, I appreciate it, I like that, because he's that type of fighter and he's gotta go to that place. So I don't feel bad that he kinda turns it up a little bit and gets his mind kind of in the zone where he needs to be, because this is not easy, right? He's done it a lot, but it's still not easy to cut that weight. I like how he kind of gets a little aggressive with it, you know, he kind of attacks the weight like he fights, you know, he goes for it, he, he's very all over it and intense about it, and I love it because it just means that it's getting closer to the time where he gets to go out there and let those fireworks fly, you know. Yeah, we've all just uh, come out from New Jersey uh, and we've come into town. The boys are staying the night here for the weight cut. Whose room's that? Oh, no, that's on Oh, the workout room. We back. Doing a little workout, like getting the sweat started and then chucking them in the sauna and the blankets and just losing a little bit before they go to bed, float a little bit off, and the real weight cut starts tomorrow. Oh, yeah. So we are here in New York City, you know, we talk about the Conor McGregor effect, the Ronda Rousey effect, and how everything feels bigger when those athletes compete. There's definitely a New York City effect this week. This pay-per-view feels absolutely monstrous, obviously speaks to the depth of the card, but we're just excited getting ready to go, and, you know, I'm just anxious talking to you, my man. I don't know if that speaks to just how big a show this is, but uh, I can't wait to get seen tonight. All right, thank you all for being here for the official way in the UFC 281, Adesanya versus Pereira. And we will begin with one of the headlining athletes, co-headliner of the UFC Women's Strawweight Division, the reigning defending undisputed UFC Strawweight Champion, Carla Esparza. 114.8. Right 114.8. The official weight for the champion, Carla Esparza. All right, next athlete to the scale is the athlete around whom this fight card was built, the undisputed UFC middleweight champion, the last style bender, Israel Adesanya. 185 even. 185, the official weight for the champion, Israel Adesanya. All right, next fighter to weigh in this morning is the former UFC strawweight champion and number two ranked contender, Magnum Zhang Wei Li. Is Kim here? Oh, yeah, Kim is here. 114.8. 114.8, the official weight for Zhang Wei Li, and that means your UFC women's strawweight title fight is now official. Yes, sir. Congrats, man. Have fun. Break eight. Thank you. All right, next fighter to the scale taking part in his first UFC title fight, the number four ranked middleweight contender, Alex Pareda. 184.6. 184.6. The official weight for Alex Pereira, and that means your undisputed UFC middleweight championship fight is now official.
UFC fans, we'd like to welcome you to the weigh-in for UFC 281 on Asanya versus Brunei. And now for the call of the ceremonial weigh for UFC 281, here is Joe Rose. Good luck tomorrow, you too. 